Each external sensory organ in Drosophila, which you can see as little hairs on a fly, consists of a socket cell, a hair cell, a sheath cell, and a sensory neuron. The cuticle, which is not part of the sensory organ, is shown here for orientation. The socket cell and hair cell are both derived from the same intermediate precursor cell called 2A. The sheath cell and the neuron are the daughters of a different precursor called 2B. 2A and 2B are both the progeny of a single cell known as the sensory organ precursor, or SOP. A protein called NUM plays a key role in the differentiation of the SOP into the four cells of the organ. In this SOP cell, a partner of NUM, a protein that complexes with NUM, has been tagged with green fluorescent protein. The chromosomes are stained red. Prior to cell division, NUM is asymmetrically localized to one side of the cell. Due to this asymmetric localization, the 2B daughter cell will contain nearly all the NUM, whereas the 2A daughter cell, which we can now barely see, contains very little. When 2B cells divide, NUM segregates again to one side, and consequently the neuron acquires considerably more NUM than the sheath cell. NUM inhibits the function of NOTCH, a transmembrane receptor. NOTCH works with a transmembrane ligand from a neighboring cell, called delta, to diversify cell fate during development. Binding of delta to NOTCH triggers a cleavage of the NOTCH receptor by an extracellular protease. The remaining NOTCH segment then becomes a substrate for gamma secretase and is cleaved in the middle of the transmembrane domain, which releases the intracellular domain of NOTCH to the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, NOTCH binds to its nuclear partners and activates target gene expression. Among these targets are NOTCH and delta themselves. NOTCH is upregulated, and delta is downregulated by NOTCH signaling. Imagine we have two cells that start with the same levels of NOTCH and delta. A high concentration of NUM in cell B, which inhibits NOTCH, causes a reduction of notch transcription in cell B. At the same time, it upregulates delta expression in cell B. The increase in delta expression sends a stronger signal to activate the notch pathway in the neighboring cell A, which upregulates notch and downregulates delta in cell A. The increase in notch signaling in cell A further upregulates notch in cell A and downregulates notch in cell B. These feedback loops cause these two cells to amplify their initial difference. This results in differential gene expression of other notch targets and distinct fates between these two cells. For the Drosophila sensory organ, cells that have high notch signaling become sheath cells, and cells that have low notch signaling become neurons. <laughs>